Did you get enough sleep tonight, Michael? Yeah. Well, where is father? He, um, he said he had some unfinished work, so he had to leave early. Oh. It's going to be okay. I talked to the guidance counselor and they said it's a good school. No bullies to hurt you ever again. Everything will be okay, Mikey. I... Hmm? What is it, Mikey? Nothing. Oh, okay. I love you, Mikey, my baby. I love you too, Mom. Thank you for being here. I'll always be here for my kids. Here we are, sweetie. Your new school. Don't worry, Michael. It's okay to feel nervous, but you'll get used to this change. Just take it one step at a time. I guess. You! Over here! Yes, you! Come over here! Huh? Hi! Are you new here? Uh... Yeah, I'm looking for homeroom A. Oh! What a coincidence! We're in the same class! Want me to show you where it is? Uh... Yeah, sure. I'll be back later, sorry! Hey! No, wait, Ellie! You can't just leave me here! I'm Ellie, by the way. What's your name? I'm... Michael. Nice to meet you, Michael. I think you're gonna love it here.
<clears throat> hey, y'all. We have a new guy here I wanted to introduce. Please welcome Michael. It's his first day. Hello. Hello. Hey. Thanks. Hey, isn't that the Afton kid? Yeah, it is. Terrence, what are you doing? I suggest we give him some space. It's his first day. Hey, Michael. Do you remember me? Yeah. You're the guy from the funeral. You called me an emo boy. <laughs> Well, you can hang out with us at any time if you want. With you being new here and all, I'm sure none of us would mind. No thanks. I'm good. Oh. Okay. Well, if you change your mind, feel free to just come over. You don't deserve friends. It's my Ellie Mae birthday! Good morning, Sweet Pea. Happy birthday! How's my birthday girl this morning? I'm the excitedest girl in the world! Are you ready for your big day? Did you get all my friends' invite? Don't you worry, Cass. You'll see everyone you know at Freddy's. Especially Susie. <laughs> thank you, Daddy, and thanks for breakfast, too. Anything for my special girl. I'm gonna go get dressed. Don't leave without me. so much for coming, Seuss. Of course, Cass. Oh, and by the way, Gabriel and Fritz and Jeremy are already inside. They're still waiting for you. Awesome! Let's... <coughs> Wait, you brought Barney with you? Is that a good idea? My mom said it was okay if he was on a leash, and I'll make sure he's a very good boy today. Alright, well, if you and Barney are ready, let's go inside and get this party started!
guys, when did the cake get in here? Jerem, that was really rude. You should be more patient, like Fritz. Happy birthday! Thanks so much, guys! I'm so happy you all came! <laughs> before you thank me. <laughs> Then, little pup, what are you doing in a place like this? Perhaps I should return you back to whoever lost you. <gasps> or I could use this to my advantage for them, for all of us. Come along, little one, we're going on an adventure. Who's that new guy? I've never seen him around here before. That's Michael. He just moved here from another school. In the middle of the school year? He really didn't tell me much else. Just his name and that he was new. Where have I seen him before?
Bingo! I knew I've seen him somewhere before. That's Michael Afton, son of William and Mia Afton. They're pretty much famous. That's not really a new thing here. Lots of kids at the school are part of families like that. There's Xander, Terrence, Charles. I'm going to go talk to him. You, you're sure, Van? He really looks like he doesn't want any company. I'm sure. Don't worry. He just needs a friend to talk to. Hi there. Do you mind if I sit with you? No. Go ahead. Thanks. <clears throat> so, what brings you to Silver Creek? I was transferred here. Oh? How come? Bullying problem. My parents thought it would be better to send me here instead. Oh. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, hey, you have some really good parents who care a lot about you if they made you switch schools for that. Okay, that's enough. I appreciate you trying to make me feel welcome and all, but I'd appreciate it even more if you left me alone. Uh, I, get, I get how you're feeling. But hey, if you ever get lonely, you're welcome to join me and my other friends. So, how'd it go? He's still adjusting right now, so he isn't ready for new friends just yet. I'm sure he'll come around though. Hey, guys, we have about 10 minutes left of our lunch. We should probably hurry up and finish our food before the bell rings for class. Ugh. What do you want now? I want an answer. Have you thought about seeing yes to that date yet? The answer is still no. I'm not interested in you. Hey! Let her go! Ugh! Let go of me, you stupid- I've been very patient with you, Vanessa Hopkins. Why don't you just be a good girl for me and say yes? <gasps> hey! You heard her. She said no, so you can go fuck off to somewhere else. You wanna repeat that, you little shit? Uh, what? Don't tell me that you're deaf and a moron. You know exactly what I said. Either that, or that head of yours has the processing power of a printer with no ink. <laughs> oh, you think you're fucking funny. I am funny. You? Hold it right there, Mr. Bell. You let go of Mr. Afton before you do something you'll really regret. Uh, Afton? You're... <sighs> yeah, Afton. Michael Afton. Oh. 
All right, Afton. You've been let off easy this time. But next time, you won't be so lucky. What are you all standing around for? Get back to eating. Classes are starting soon. Grabe, that was crazy. You're so cool for doing that. That was definitely reckless, but hey, I can't fault you for doing the right thing. Thanks for standing up for Vanessa like that. It was nothing. You were getting on my nerves, so I did something about it. Thank you so much for the save, Michael. It was nothing, really. It was just the right thing to do. Come on, come sit with us. You deserve the company after that whole thing. I appreciate it, but... N nope. I am not taking no for an answer from you, Michael Afton. You're sitting with us, and you're going to enjoy yourself. Now come here. I'm fine. Whatever. Hold on. Who's that? Allow me to introduce to you, Michael Afton! He just transferred here not too long ago, and he stood up to Tommy for me on day one. Damn, that's pretty hardcore, Michael. Nice to meet you. I'm Eric. Starting today, Michael is going to sit with his new friend group, us! gonna be okay, Suze. We'll find him. Hey guys, any luck? N no, I looked everywhere. We can't find him. We can ask the security guards. Maybe one of them saw Barney. I'll go ask the guard. You guys keep looking for Barney. Try looking in the boxes or something. Maybe he's just hiding. No, no, Cass. Stay here, please. I don't want to be alone. We won't be long, Suze. Someone just needs to stay to watch the room in case Barney comes back or our parents come and find us. Yeah, Suze. We, you can play some games while we go find him. Look, they have Freddy Maze. You like that game, right? <laughs> Everything's gonna be okay, Suze. We'll find him. Uh, I wish Andy was still here. <laughs> He'd stay with me. He isn't around anymore, Suze. So we need to be brave for Andy, okay? I won't take too long, I promise. Oh, jeez, Mr. Bonnie. 
Honey, you scared me! Oh, sorry there, little girl. I was just watching you play the game so well. But you seem sad. What's wrong? It's Barney. My puppy. I lost him here. I hope we can find him soon. <laughs> A puppy? Oh! Is the puppy a small golden retriever? Yes! Yes, he is! Did you see him? Is he okay, Bonnie? Yes, he's okay. In fact, I can take you to him if you just follow me. Wait! Can I bring my friends? They're worried about Barney, too! You have friends with you? Yeah, they were helping me find Barney. Oh, please, it won't take long. I can go get them. Sure, little girl. We can bring your friends. the garden he said he hasn't seen a dog here why do you ask around any luck guys no this place is huge and it's so crowded we won't find barney like this maybe we should tell Suze that guys guys Susie, what are you doing here <sighs> i know where he is Bonnie found him! He's gonna take us to him! Come on, let's go! Suze, are you sure? How do you know he's telling the truth? Yeah, Suze. Remember? Stranger danger? He told me he saw a golden retriever puppy. That has to be Barney. No one else here brought a dog. I don't know, Suze. Andrew would believe me! Cass, what do you think? Ah, okay, Suze, you win. We'll go with you. Are these your friends, Susie? All right then, follow me. I don't like this, Cass. Yeah, me too. But we're doing this for Susie. Once we got the dog, let's run. Fast. Right, who you found Barney. Now let's I'm sorry, 